long awaited episode of the long, bottom line long overdue long, it's also long awaited you don't know that they, they keep waiting for the episode uh, and yes uh, you are i know we know that you are eagerly awaiting yes so uh, we apologize for the delay actually it's because we've had have been having some um, audio hardware issues uh, and we actually have a new, have mic. a new mic have a new mic it's an audio technica st2020 um uh, yes um right 8025 plus it's a usb mic it's for sale so we are first of all selling you the mic it's uh, 30000 bucks and it's great for stuff like this comes with its own built in sound card so you don't need to connect it to an external sound card you can just plug it right into your laptop or computer and start using it uh, and uh, if the sound quality is good then you know the mic's good so yes so this episode is not about the mic yes uh, it's <laughs> about uh, some interesting uh, new product leaks they are not confirmed so, so um, these are leaks though uh, in the sense that um, uh, they have come from a few sources but it's not really like it's not one not, those, a, not a concrete really, source it's not a concrete it's, source you can't really be 100% sure about this but on but the, it it comes from a fairly reputed i think it was adobe tv yes which is known to like they are known for fairly reliable content okay so. and the, the other plus side is that they have been leaking uh, announcements at ces which is happening in january yes. so you so, have to wait another month so the likelihood here is that um, they somehow got someone inside CES. Yeah, fair. Enough. I mean, I'm sure somebody is releasing information about what they're going to have going on at CES in December. And so fair enough. And the main thing is, main thing here is uh, the leaks here are corroborated by multiple different sources. So multiple different sources point towards the same thing. So we we haven't told them what it's about. Yes. <laughs> so. Uh, to tell you exactly what it's about is there are actually two leaks so the first leak is actually addressing uh, amd's new ryzen processors so based on their new zen 2 architecture on their 7 nanometer production node which we have spoken about in the past. yes so essentially we are going with uh, you are getting a new architecture so the last two generations first and second gen ryzen were on the zen no, zen plus. it was zen. it was zen. zen and zen plus zen, zen and zen plus so slight improvement um, and they were on a 14 and 12 nanometer production node and now we are going for new architecture which is zen 2 yes and also new production node which is 7 nanometer so you can expect so what's expected is a small increase from the uh, architecture itself mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. and a fairly significant increase from the production node yeah well uh, it's again like i i don't know how we attribute the improvements and we'll get to the numbers shortly but uh, from what we have been told the improvements are as good as we had hoped actually a little better than what we had hoped so <laughs> all right so let's get to the leaked lineup so it's put up on screen right now so this amounts to a complete restructuring of the uh, entire ryzen lineup um makes a little bit more sense also because uh, you know like a, if you are getting like right now if you get a ryzen 5 could uh, either be a quad core part or a six core part mm-hmm. Now here, what we are seeing is uh, the Ryzen 3s are six core parts, the Ryzen 5s are eight core parts, the Ryzen 7s are twelve core parts, and a new Ryzen 9, which we haven't seen before, going to be branded as a sixteen core thirty-two. So these are sub- these aren't exactly replacements for their current Threadripper platform. These are apparently replacements for the current Ryzen three five seven processors, exactly. and apparently the new motherboard, you know, is going to be called X five seventy. So not much. of a difference there now the reason why i would take this leak with a pinch of salt is that uh, those numbers are a little too good to be true in the sense that yes. they are trying to fit in the same die size as last generation uh, they are trying to fit in literally twice the number of course so it makes sense on the 3 and the 5 it, they, and they're, they're just bringing the 6s and the 8s lower but they're now giving you 12 and 16 on the same die because we all remember how big thread it was right now now here's the thing Now they are going from uh, say fourteen <coughs> to a seven. That's half. Yeah, I, it's that's, not as straightforward, but yeah, but it, still it, it stands to reason that you could put double the number into the same die. But also being able to do that in such a short period of time is is phenomenal. Like I'm I'm a huge AMD fan, so if this is true, you You'll guys are going. It's <laughs> going to be like literally, it's going to reinvent the game. Like this is how like when Ryzen seven came in with the first gen. and we got eight cores at about $300 it blew our minds it literally reset what we could come to expect from a high performance processor and if they just do this and even if they yes. priced it at a high price like at even at $500 yes. it doesn't matter you're so, getting 16 cores at, like so what what i personally feel is 
maybe the Ryzen 9 switch we haven't seen before mm-hmm. seem a bit too good to be true. Yeah. That could be And it also cannibalizes the second gen Threadripper process. Exactly. So that seems a little bit out there. The other thing. Do you think the 12 core? See, this is, this is what we've heard from the leaks, right? Like, uh, now we know that Zen 2 is going to be able, allow them to push up to 5 gigahertz on a processor, which we know that AMD hasn't been able to do with Ryzen because, you know, of limitation issues. But because of the smaller node and new uh, architecture, yeah. not only are we getting high frequencies, so it's practically guaranteed that we're going to get few processors that can do 4.5 to 5 gigahertz. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, again, the 5 gigahertz, yeah, that's the thing I want to get to 5 gigahertz, seems a little bit too good to be true. I'd expect okay. more consistent... I'd expect more consistent 4.5 Because you understand, this is like a completely revamped like uh, processor architecture, right? True. No, my, my, my point is this. Like right now, across both Intel and AMD, you're seeing processors, general processors, clock speeds 3.6 to 4, that's that's the going... Not really. We're talking about unlocked high performance parts, which Intel has been hitting 5 now on a couple of processors for about a year. A couple of processors, okay. Right? And that's Intel doing what they can on the 14 nanometer node, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if AMD were able to squeeze a little uh, more performance out of essentially say currently, let's, let's look at like, what's the highest clock processor? Uh, 4.3, 2700X. So going from 4.3 to 5 on the same number of cores isn't really that much when you're looking that your die has literally mm-hmm. shrunk by mm-hmm. half. So I feel like 5 is a very realistic possibility. The, the more unlikely thing is that AMD would be looking to give you 12 cores at the same price. It's not unlike AMD though. And it's, I, not I, unlike it's, it's not unlike it's not like they like but at the same time AMD has a good thing going for them. But I guess now that Intel have eight cores in the mainstream space, True. that's one of the only areas that AMD can compete on, I guess. Yes. Because we also know that there are going to be huge IPC improvements, if we didn't mention this before. Uh, yeah, apparently so. the new Zen 2 architecture is gonna bring up to fifteen to twenty percent IPC improvements. You see on top of that you put like say you were from like 3.5 to 4.5, 4. Exactly. 4.8 clock speeds, you're looking at a 20% improvement there as yes. well. So. so what IPC means is it's instructions per clock. So that means a Zen 2 processor that is operating at say 4 gigahertz will give you about 20% more performance than a Ryzen 2 processor operating at the same frequency. So that's like Kushan said, it stacks and you bring that to 5 and you see huge performance improvements which w- just on paper are already going to be wiping the flow with anything Intel has. Because right you take now. twenty because right now, funny thing. If you can find Intel processors. You can find <laughs> Intel processors. Forget about the price, if you could find them. Find Intel so just yeah. so you know right now, and this is a funny fact that even a lot of people forget that if you actually took an eight gen Intel processor, like an eight seven double zero or eight seven hundred K, and you and you set the frequency at four gigahertz, and you actually set it next to a Ryzen to another six core, like even a twenty six hundred X, right? At, at four gigahertz. The performance of the two processes is apparently roughly the same. The IPC actually, very, Intel very has a very small advantage, like about two to three percent, which is insignificant. So currently, the, the actually the improvements you see with Intel processes in gaming and other stuff is because they have higher clock speeds and not really because of anything else. So if AMD brings twenty percent faster clock speeds, sorry, yeah. not clock speeds, IPC, IPC and twenty percent faster, faster clock, clock speeds, speeds, you're looking at like a forty percent overall gain, which yeah. means Intel are in for some serious trouble. Yeah. So looking at the prices. I feel a little bit too good to be true. Maybe ten percent, twenty percent higher than that is likely. Is, but even at ten, twenty. Even at twenty percent. So what were the prices? Then? So essentially, what you're looking at is let me just <coughs> reference here. Um, all right, so you're looking at a six core, twelve thread processor that clocks to four point three out of the box. That's going to be the Ryzen three. Yes. Yeah, so it was around. That's my pricing. This graph has failed. <laughs> $120? It's about $120. $120. So essentially, what you're looking at is a 8700 equivalent, which is a, a faster than 8700. Say, IPC improves. Okay. Say, say, worst case scenario, worst case scenario is an 8700 equivalent. It's a $350 processor. At about twenty two, twenty three thousand rupees. Yes. Which sounds a little too good to be true. Yes. Uh, but, but think, like, assume it's a $150, $160 processor, still at $35,000. You're getting six scores. 30, 35,000 rupees, right? Yeah. Current year, I guess, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. I mean, I guess... It's still half it's, the price. It's still only marginally cheaper than their current 2600X. But still, it's half the price. Of, and of uh, oh yeah. But like, a lot of people actually don't realize that there's actually a very minimal performance difference between a 2600X and an 8700. <laughs> like a lot of people <laughs> think true. the i7 is an i7 and it costs almost 25,000 more. So right. therefore, it must be like... Actually, if you look at a lot of benchmarks, the 2600X... Like, okay, what I would say is that it's, at this point, it's dependent a little bit on workload also. Yeah. If you're like 
doing purely gaming on a very high-end graphics card, yes, that clock speed advantage plays a part. If you're getting like 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti or a new RTX card, then yes, the i7 will give you an advantage because it has higher clock speed. Yeah. So right. that yeah. advantage could also not be there. True, true. So, so yeah, that's a pretty good worst case scenario. Exactly. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, what's even more unbelievable is that AMD is trying to bring 8 cores down to the Ryzen 5 line. Yes, yeah, so you are looking at uh, 40,000 ish rupee 8 cores. Yeah, which, is, which is pretty is sick. Amazing. If you want any like budget workstation, that yeah, would be it would like just completely thing. like reinvent the way we build computers right yeah, now. Exactly, like, that's just blowing my mind. Like just this thinking could, about it. This could make like like we are talking like eight seven double zero levels at thirty five thousand, but twenty thousand will get you like a really fast gaming process. Yeah, right. So overall, across the board, from like gaming PCs to like workstations, everything like your system cost should go down. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Update. And if you're a workstation user and you're somebody who edits video or does 3D work, these processes are going to just, well, it, it's going to just, I don't know, like you, you buy a new machine, you're just going to get ridiculous value at under 200,000. Like so, you're going to be building a 100 to 150K systems that would like wreck 500K systems <laughs> from like, like a couple years, years ago, ago, yes. Which is insane. Yes. And uh, I just realized we've been referring to like Zen 2 as Zen 2. And just so you guys are like not confused, it's not, Zen 2 is not Ryzen 2. So Ryzen 2 is what we have right now. Zen 2 is Ryzen 3. So, so these are all Ryzen 3 processes we're talking Ryzen about. Ryzen is the brand name, right? So it's Ryzen 2, Ryzen 3, Ryzen 4 would be like the generations for Intel. Yes. So Intel 1st so, gen, 2nd gen, 3rd yes. gen, that's how so it is. So we're referring to the new Ryzen uh, processes, the third generation of Ryzen, and we're referring to them as Ryzen 3. So all the processes we just talked about, about uh, Ryzen, 3, uh, Ryzen, 3, Ryzen 3, 3000 and something. The leaks say that they're going to be announced at CES 2019, which is pretty it's crazy. A few weeks away. Yeah, so we're going to find out. We'll keep you updated as and when that happens. And so far, we've been pretty spot on with like, yeah, you know, our predictions. So, you know. I, I'm, I'm a little bit skeptic on this. It so sounds to, a little bit. Yeah, so to make things a little crazier, Ryzen 7 with 12 cores. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, see, see what AMD can, but I also see how like AMD have nowhere else to go with yeah. Ryzen 7. So, okay. So, we'll know for sure in about three to four weeks, right? So, um, okay. I'd say these are 70%. What do you think? I want them to be 100% <laughs> true. Uh, I think AMD, just the fact that just a year ago, they brought eight cores to an otherwise four core space. And now they're looking to, in January 2019, bring 12 cores to what was a four core space two years ago. Too good to be true, but if they do it, man, AMD, I, I'm calling this, like this would be that moment where AMD steal market share from Intel and become probably one of the main companies. They already are, just FIA. Um, I think the last quarter report said that they were outselling Intel 2 to 1. Yes, with but select retailers. With select select yes. retailers. So yes. that's yes. meaning certain high-end retailers are currently outselling uh, Intel processors with AMD 2 to 1. That means they're selling twice as many AMD processors, mainly because of a processor shortage. So this is not really because people are outright just buying more AMD because they've got like more, I don't know, rep or whatever. But when still, they're outright buying. They are saying, <laughs> so it's like, it hurts to be Intel right now where you don't have your 10 nanometer node, um, you've got you demand, have, you, you don't you, have processors. You don't have processes to give your nine consumers. Gen, 9 gen just, we just, call this proper. 9 gen just, call, it just appeared, but didn't appear. Didn't really appear. Like, we got like what? Like, I think we, Sri Lanka <laughs> saw like 15 processes. Yeah. At exactly. most. And then we never saw processes again. So yeah, it's 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 uh, like all of this has just worked together so that if AMD somehow managed to give us what these leaked roadmaps like oh, show, anything, anything and we'll close. show a link, we'll have a link in the description. Anything close, yes. <laughs> we'll have a few graphs yeah. so you can and check Intel, them out. And Intel, if since we know Intel has no no answer to this, right? Uh, I I'm calling this like m like January two thousand nineteen. If this gets announced, Intel, I promise you, will have no answer to this. It's going to be a really hard place to sit if you are an Intel fanboy. Because it's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just like lost for words. Like, literally, we might end up just selling only AMD for 2019, if this is the case. Cause well, we'll know in January. So yeah, we'll know in January. So we'll have a follow-up episode to this once CES is done. So, mm -hmm. yeah, stay tuned for that. Yeah. And also another thing, just, just on the way out, um, they also, AMD also promised to be, well, the leaks promise up to 5 gigahertz on their 12 and 16 core parts. Which is another reason why we're like, ah. Uh, uh, they didn't say all cores fight though. It could be just a couple. And I think current thread rippers are hitting what? 4.2, 4.3, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But more on that in January and we'll keep you updated. So catch you on the next episode.